Hey everybody, and welcome back to part three of my Let's Play for King Arthur Knight's Tale. Continuing on on Very Hard with Tyrant Old Faith. Now something a couple of you may notice as you're watching this when I just get this done and out of the way. I forgot to save my file after the last part, and then I went to go record some other videos and stuff. You know, builds and whatnot my other type of content that I make and I lost the save so I had to go back and replay the Sir Ector recruitment mission and so I did that and I actually managed to do uh, better because I knew about that weird bug that caused him to take that one hit to his vitality so I was able to avoid that this time so I went from only taking one hit of vitality damage to none so slight improvement just wanted to point that out in case anyone noticed that but um yeah but everything else is the same so just ready to go ahead jump into this next mission the tale of Sir Yvain. Uh this is a fairly long mission so this is probably gonna be the only mission for this part I'm hoping the next parts probably gonna be a uh, forbidden or forbidden keep and then maybe cursed ship and those ones aren't super long, so I'll probably be able to cram those into one video. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty. Got the first fight. Bunch of bandits, so we'll actually get use out of Dindrain's poison arrow here. Let's just go ahead and double light you up with our dots. And shoot you. Slow you. And just uh, wait with everyone else. Nice kill. Easy kill. Pew pew. Stabby. Shoot. Um, yeah, we'll just keep waiting. Just... I don't know why you repositioned, but whatever. Nice. So you can't do manual saves on this mission. It has to do with, you know, the whole story of, like, being trapped or whatever. Which, um, funny enough, I never do manual saves in missions, but just because I'm, like, I forget to slash too lazy. I just always uh, reload the autosave battles, which usually means I have to do a little bit of extra running if I, you know, mess something up. But uh, not that I even do that very often, because usually, I mean, the way I play just for the challenge, I kind of play like I'm on roguelite mode, where I just don't load to avoid mistakes, really. But I just don't play on roguelite mode because being able to load certain points in the game and manually save between missions is useful for making videos. Uh, yeah, this looks fine. Let's see. Get a kill there. Can you reach, kinda? I'll just move you over to here. Uh, we do have some movement AP, so I guess we can... Nice. Let's just back back up. A lot of health on you, so let's go ahead and put a slow, because he explodes when he dies and hurts us. So yeah, I don't, don't want that. Actor's going to be pretty good at keeping him away. Um, I guess just shoot him. Start getting some of that dot damage in. And then... Darn. Can Dindrain get a shot? She can. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Just keep him away. 
poison him. Um, let's go ahead and knock him over. Then reposition back to here. Nice. Um, and let's just move you back over here. Perfect. Kill that. Detonate. Knockback is quite nice, especially in these earlier levels. If we move up to here. And just bum rush with Cade. We want to be careful though, because there are traps like that. <sighs> Didn't think there'd be. I, I thought they were in the field, so that's. That's on me, I suppose. <laughs> and yeah. Please kill. Thank you. Grab this. I think there's like a campfire near here or something, I think. Not that I need it, but for later. Oh, okay, shrine. That's probably what I was thinking of. Um, actually, let's head over this way. There's one of the, uh, like, captains or whatever you want to call them. Oh, wrong way. Uh, kind of weird orientation to run into this. I meant to uh, turn in over here, but that's fine. This shouldn't be a big deal. Um, we're just gonna... Overwatch. Like so. And we can actually get a shot on him. Nice. Okay. Just gonna run. Alright, let's knock you out of cover. Easy kill. Let's just keep using our range to our advantage. Uh, kill there. Let's move everyone off of these death spots. Alright. Let's go ahead and knock you out of that cover. Double dot that up. Let's put a slow on you. We're dealing with your uh, minions right now. And we'll just overwatch in here in case they decide to uh, come in. Nice. Stay away. <laughs> we'll get to you. Wait your turn. <laughs> Probably could have gotten a kill there if I used Stigma. Oh well. Alright, now we'll do Stigma. Burn. Poison. Shoot, shoot. Shoot. And now dead. So I've been... As I've been playing through this uh, level, I've been... Make an effort to listen to Sir Evane's lines, his voice lines, because I've heard many players voice that they are not a fan of his uh, voice or his voiceover. And uh, it's not anything amazing, I think, but personally, I don't get it. It's just pretty just standard average to me. I don't know. I'm curious if anyone else is just like really hates his uh, voice lines or his the voice actor or something because uh i never gave it any second thought until i started seeing people talk about it in like the discord and i think uh, even in the uh reddit a little bit uh this looks pretty good yeah and i'll just pass P 
Pew pew. And we'll go ahead and move him here because this guy can definitely run in and reach us, so. Hit us with that throwing dagger. Darn. There we go. Let's drop stigma. Set the dots. Just light them up. Let's put a slowing hex on them too. That should be good. That pesky guardian totem. Definitely going to want to kill that first. Uh, does it actually let us read the effect of it? Yeah, anyone that hurts him gets hurt back in return by a lot. It's like just outside of our range. Oh, that's annoying. Alright, cool. We were able to down it this one turn, though. This should be alright. Mordred's a tough cookie. Alright, so we do this. Um, yeah, honestly, I kind of want to keep focusing him. Let's move you out of the way. Move you up. Mm, let's go ahead and set the poison. Okay, yeah, he's super dead to the uh, burn and poison next turn. There's no way he survives both. Death strike on you. Get a kill there. That should be good. And freaking bear traps, man. Forgot they were on this one, honestly. There we go. Fairly painless. Took a little bit of damage on him, and uh, I think one throwing dagger got thrown in Nectar. But uh, not bad. This is definitely stuff we can just recover with campfires. I got one here. I know there's like another one over here, too, so. You know. Uh, that thing I was talking about, Suryvane's voiceovers and stuff, I just heard him talk about rescuing a lion. Yeah, I'll admit, that one wasn't great. <laughs> so, slight take back of my previous statement. I guess I just didn't pay much attention to it before. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm, I could have actually just gone to the final fight here. This fight here is entirely optional, the ambush, but... It's extra XP, my guys are pretty healthy, so why not? I do know there's also a second campfire around here I'm trying to find. Let's see, how do we want to do These guys are pretty far away. I definitely want to start with these guys, because they're close to my back line. I think something like this. Sink a shot in there, yep, super dead. Shot there. Kill there. Slow there. I think just reposition my melee, something like this. Should be good. Nice, got the kill. Nice and clean. And then drop an attack here. Let's go ahead and put a stigma there. Darn. Um, yeah, let's just pull you back, just to be safe. Alright, cool. That unbreakable armor does definitely come in handy. At least in this early game. And just continue to bombard the hell out of our enemies. Now, before you go into this mission, if you check this shrine, 
I'm pretty sure this one is locked. I don't know if all the shrines are set, you know, like, it's always going to be the same effect every time, and maybe someone could make a chart out of that, because I'm definitely not paying close enough attention to that. But I have noticed in all my playthroughs, this one is always heal vitality. So, K has some vitality damage from a previous mission, so if I come out of this fight without anyone else taking vitality damage, I can use this to top off K and avoid that uh, loyalty um, penalty from his trait, so I'm going to come back for that. This fight's always been kind of annoying because I have three range units, so it's to my advantage to use that range over them because they're primarily melee, but they actually do just sort of huddle up in here, and you'd think... This is a fairly open area, like, you could get a lot of shots in. Not really. These Stonehenge-looking shits really provide a lot of cover to enemies on the inside and obstruct your line of sight. It's honestly quite a pain. Like, if I just pass my turn here, which I'm going to do, they'll all just turtle up in here. Yeah. But if I, like, try to move... Evain over or something. Uh, nope. I can, get, I can move him to here, get the shot, and then back up. <laughs> and I'm just gonna overwatch in case any of them decide to uh, run out here. <laughs> Because, I mean, I'm not going to go in there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that looks absolutely terrible. Eventually, they do start making their way out, I'm, I think, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, I'm just... They just kind of fidget a little bit. I can get a couple shots in here or there. Yeah, like that. Then just back up again. And, yeah, let's do a couple turns of this, see what happens. See if I can line up any free shots. Yeah, here we go, here's one, kinda. Move back. Get a line of sh there, okay, we can get something on him, drop a burn arrow. And, yeah, just overwatch that. I'm just going to keep plucking away at them. I mean, there's no time bonus. It doesn't matter how fast I kill them. All that matters is if I kill them. <laughs> so, I'm not going to take any risky... Thing. I'm not going to take any risky actions. Just going to... Keep plucking away at them, and you know, I mean, for you guys, I'll just fast forward through a lot of this if it's uh, going slow. Yeah, see, it's starting to kind of make their way up. It takes a couple of turns, but they, they always do. Pull back there a bit. Let's go ahead and drop a slow here. Shoot you. Let's go ahead and your range, so yeah, we'll just drop a kill there. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, let's do this. Um, let's do this. Get a nice cleave. Love to see it. Just keep you away. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, we're gonna pop a healing potion on Ector. Just in case this manhunter wants to take another shot at him. Alright, cool. Um, we're gonna drop a stigma on you. Peel off some armor. Let's take out the ads. 
knock you away, pull you back a little. Just continue to burn off some of this armor before I put the dots on them. And yeah. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts. But um let's see. We can just pop this potion. Yeah, I was afraid that happened. Just keep burning off the armor. Just keep burning it off. Darn. Okay. Um, we're just gonna be eating some backstabs here, and nothing I can really do about that. Can't get a knockdown on him either. He has fifty percent physical debuff resist. That's fine, we'll be healing some vitality. Take another one of these. We're actually going to send someone to deal with you. Drop that on him. Finish off this manhunter. Maybe should have done that a turn ago, but um... We're going to eat an opportunity attack here. Knock him away. We're going to pull Sir K back, actually. He's taking quite a few hits. We want to try and minimize that some more. And we'll move Mordred up, have him tank. And now we're going to move Evane all the way over here. Dindrain all the way over here. Hector all the way over here. Get into them around so they can start backstabbing him because that shield, the block, is reducing a lot of our damage. Yeah, like three, that is not ideal. We're actually going to save up AP on K. I mean, Mordred's fine. I mean, we can just pop one of these if we need to. But yeah, we can immediately start laying into him with these backstabs. If I was smart, I would have used Stigma, but I forgot it was off cooldown. The burn got him. Very nice. Now we go back to this shrine over here. Let's heal up some vitality on K. Back up to 56 out of 58. <laughs> oh well, that's close enough. Let's grab this treasure chest and we can wrap this one up. So uh, that mission actually didn't take too long, and treachery is fairly short from what I recall. I did put Sir K in the hospice to just help clear up that two he's missing, but if I'm going to do treachery, I kind of need him, so let's go ahead and pull him out. Everybody, sorry about that. My recording software bugged out on me, started glitching and stuff, but looks like it's working properly again, so we can go ahead and just uh, jump into treachery. It's a fairly short mission, especially since a couple of the fights are actually skippable, and uh, I think I'm actually going to take advantage of that, because there's a couple tricky fights on this one. Some of them are definitely, the maps aren't very advantageous to you. The starting positions are rough. This first one here is kind of what I'm talking about. You can see very narrow. It's hard to, you know, get good positioning. I mean, it does kind of work in your favor, because you kind of make bottlenecks a little bit, but at the same time, it's fairly rough. It funnels them into basically piling in onto one unit, and that's not ideal either. So, I mean, I have plenty of gold, so I'm just going to pay him. And uh, he gives us these three guys. I mean, we still have to fight, but these three dudes, they're pretty decent meat shields. We don't care if they die. Um, so the rest of them, really, there's a few of them in the wings. Like, I know there's at least one more crossbowman, I'm pretty sure. And maybe, like, three other melee dudes that we can't currently see. So, you know, odds aren't bad. I'm going to go ahead and stealth Balin and start having him work his way around here. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's one. And uh, I'm going to be a little more aggressive since I have these guys kind of acting as uh, walls for me. 
move them up a little bit and okay there's another one I know there's a uh, let's just go ahead and slow you I guess we'll conserve the rest of our AP all right okay there's a there's another guy all right move Balin up nice let's help out our crossbowman friend here boom uh, can we get a line of sight on him the dude on the ground we can hit him for some bonus damage um, just gonna move K up maybe overwatch Order gets kill with that oh okay, there's the other crossbow okay uh, yeah, that looks good. Right, let's use jump. Get a little bit of movement. Stealth up. We can kill him on our next turn. You can get a kill there. Thank you, backstab. Get a nice meaty hit in there. As well as, really, it's block? I guess it would be. He also blocks. Um, there we go. No block. I have a feeling he's probably going to shoot at Mordred, so let's turn to face so we can get the block value in. Oh wow, they're really going for the meat shields. Okay, cool. And easy kill. Alright, and you know, paying them, get some helpers. They ate all the hits in that forest, which is pretty nice, so... Came out of that first fight without any damage. And it doesn't reduce the XP you get from that fight, by the way. XP is based off of the number of encounters you do, not the number of kills you get. So whether you pay them or don't, really, it's the exact same XP. So if you have the gold, unless you're just really stingy with it or you, you can't afford it, there's really no reason not to pay them. If you're playing on lower difficulties, it really doesn't matter. But if you're playing on very hard... All the advantages you can get, I recommend you take. It's, you know, the game can be rough in the early game on very hard. It can be very unforgiving. So, you know, no shame in it. If As we move on to the second fight, it's another one you can actually skip. And like I mentioned before, there's an optional fight coming up that's pretty rough. It's There's kind of a boss fight, and... I plan to do that one, and I kind of want to go into it as healthy as possible, so I am just going to let him leave. Like, I don't care. Let's just hang on to this uh, campfire, which we may need after this upcoming mini-boss. Um, there's a shrine here. Regain armor. Okay, we're probably going to definitely use that after, uh, after this fight. You click this, and it's going to spawn some giant skeleton guy over there. It's fairly tough. He hits hard and has a lot of health. There you are. Okay, I spawned a guy next to our Ector here, so definitely want to kill him first. Uh, can we jump? Really? Alright, that's fine. Eat the opportunity attack. Get Balan in. Kill. Throw some traps down, I suppose. Let's shoot you. Let's put a slow. And um, let's get yeah. Let's go ahead and Overwatch because they're definitely gonna reach us this first turn. Okay, cool. Nice easy cleave there. Went around the trap though. That's annoying. Start positioning Balin for a. Uh, some backstabs. And back up. He's pretty low health, so he's definitely in low armor, so the guy's definitely going to go after him. Let's move you up. We're going to start moving Ector around, so he can also get some backstabs with his force bolts. This dude has a lot of health, so all the extra damage will make a difference. Just move you like so. And we're actually going to move Sir K. Uh, let's pop that. 
hopefully guard will bait some hits in and we can maybe get a full team of uh, backstabs on him. He may turn around after he smacks him, but, you know, let's see. Okay, cool. He took the bait. He did t turn around. That's that's all right. That's a little annoying, but, you know, I did position my Mordred there. So, let's get this attack in. We do not want to end our turn next to him. So, we'll just go ahead and back up to here. Let's get a shot in at least, and then work to reposition. I'm going to do the same thing with Sir Kay. Just get ready to uh, have him go in on his next turn. Oh, whoops. Yeah, no, let's not forget about Mordred. Start chipping away. Ow. Alright, so we put Stigma up. We're going to use Hide for that surprise attack bonus. Very nice. Move in. Death Strike. Not going to risk it, so we're going to back up again. And Balance should be safe there with two melee targets. He's probably going to go for one of the two. He may go in for Mordred, but Mordred does have block. I, I don't know if the AI takes that into account, so it may go for K. It went for K. Alright, so now we're just going to jump here. Get some hits in. Um, shoot. I'm going to drink this potion. That was a waste of a potion. I should have used it at the start of my turn. Um, darn. K is going to take some vitality damage here. Unless... Yeah, that's okay. Let's go. Thank you, shield charge. Definitely going to give this armor to Mordred. <laughs> Thankfully, we do have this campfire here that we left untouched, and that is why I didn't want to fight them. This map only has two campfires, I think, and you saw how, you know, how damaging that guy was. I just, you really want to go into that at full health if you're going to do that fight. All right, and now we have this fight, and this one is like the only unavoidable slash not mitigatable fight. You just go into this, and you you have to kill everyone. It's a wave fight too, so some enemies are going to spawn over there, and some are going to spawn over here. So we got two crossbow guys over there. Let's go ahead and send Balin. He'll he can deal with them. Um. Definitely don't want to be in the open, so let's make our way this way, I guess. We'll slow you and just start having everyone make their way into here. Nice. Shot on balance, okay, because we can just do this. And then he make. And as usual, he may try and get some space to shoot him, in which case he'll die. For some reason, the AI doesn't always take that into account. Or he'll shoot him, and Balon will take, like, four damage. That's that's not a big deal. Um, we're going to do this, though, to knock him over. And now Sir K can come in, and very nice. Yeah, just keep playing keep away with him, Hector. <laughs> Give up the good work. Okay, yeah, just hit him. I think that was three damage, even. Alright, what's going on over here? Alright, so we'll just kill you. And stealth. Um, Let's send Mordred to deal with them. We can have K deal with this guy. Cool. Um, yeah, we don't need to use a potion. Nice block. Alright, protect the friar, so we shoot him, knock him away. 
start sending Balin after this guy here. Send Sir K. Let's go ahead and do this. Places the penalty on both of them. Yeah, it's like no damage. Alright, slow on you, shoot you. We're gonna jump. Re stealth. Nice. Oh, I thought I had Mordred selected. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, that's fine. Because we can do this. Send K over. Some hits on Balin, that's fine. It protected uh, Ector. So the final fight's coming up. We're, we're going to fight Lanville. And you can choose to fight everyone or just duel him. And dueling him, honestly, is just the smarter choice. It's much easier. I mean, Mordred can win this duel 10 out of 10 times as long as he goes into it fairly healthy. So... Uh, let's give it to Balin, I guess. Um, so yeah, you duel him, and then once you win, you can either choose to do a rightful or tyrant option. The tyrant option makes you fight everyone. And he'll have, you know, very low health, so you can kill him really easily. But it's kind of a rough fight, because they have a decent number of ranged units, and they're starting on the other side of these tables. I'm not going to do the tyrant option. It just doesn't make sense. And you don't need to take every... T Tyrant or Rightful, any alignment option in the game. As long as you aren't picking, you know, the opposite to make you lose a point, you'll actually be fine. And I've found a lot of time if you take every alignment option that does come up, sometimes the recruitment missions for the heroes, you get them a little early, so you'll have to wait anyways. So this really won't harm anything. And yeah, so I'm just, I'm going to do the neutral option to recruit him. Lanvo has such a cool design in this game. I wish he was better, because, I mean, just look at him. The dude's cool. Uh, duel. Yeah. We're just going to do Mordred. He's tanky. Th he, this this will be fine. Um, we get a pretty good opening turn with a knockdown. I mean, we have block and just decent armor, so naturally we're just not going to take a lot of damage from him. Yeah, see? So... Especially when we have potions. And I have gear on him where I do regain some armor when I regain health, so... I'm just extra tanky right now. Let's put stigma up. And, yeah. This, this is not super engaging, but, you know... It's easy. Looks like I'm going to take a little bit of vitality damage here. Yeah, but Mordred does have a passive where he gains some vitality back at the end of each mission, so he may come out of this with full vitality. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to do rightful because I don't want to lose a point, but I'm not going to do tyrant, like I said, because it just turns this into a fight that's going to be more difficult than it needs, especially with my defender now having no HP and no healing potions. He'll probably come out of this fairly roughed up, and I don't want that, so... We'll just recruit him. And that makes for the end of the mission. Grab the loot, and coming out of this, a little bit of vitality damage on Mordred, but like I said, he, that'll probably get topped off. And a little bit on... Balin, but nothing big. And yep, there you can see, 57 out of 57 on Mordred. Very nice. I'm probably going to put... Uh, I'm starting to lose loyalty on K, so... Yeah, see, so let me get a tyrant point from that thing right there. Um, the old monastery. I think I'll go ahead and stick K in the hospice. So that way I stop losing loyalty on him. Balin's a bit injured, but he's fine. I can bring him to the next mission. It, he doesn't have an injury, so it's not like he has a debuff on him. And, yeah. 
that's it for this one. Managed to get two missions into it. Pretty happy about that. And yeah, that's all. Probably um, for the next one, definitely going to do Old Monastery and uh, probably going to do Forbidden Keep. If they're short enough, I'll, I think I can maybe get both of them into the next video. But that's for another time. If you made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.